it's your boy AB here. So I'm gonna get straight to it. Kodak Black fears he's going to die in prison soon. Why? Why Kodak? Like, come on, man. You've been in prison in and out so many times. You should be good already. You should be used to this. But I'm gonna go ahead and read this article. Uh, Miami, Florida, coming from Miami, Florida. Kodak Black is concerned about his health and safety behind bars. On Thursday, January 16th, the incarcerated rapper shared two lengthy Instagram posts about the conditions he's been forced to endure at the Miami Federal Department of Corrections. So according to one of the captions, he truly believes he's going to die in prison. He starts his own narrative with the story about a fellow inmate named Pete who is in solitary confinement. He says during that time, Pete started to fall ill and was exaggerating pain. Although he allegedly asked for help, nobody would assist him. Ultimately, he took his own life. Pete requested medical attention, like myself, which was denied, like myself, because he felt like he was dying, like myself, he wrote in part. As Pete consistently cried for help, he fell on deaf ears. He decided to take himself out his misery by hanging himself from the bunk to end his pain and suffering. It's sad because everyone was aware of his health issue and no, no one CO could have found it in the kindness of their heart to do their jobs and simply call medical. His family would be mourning his loss as of now. Everyone here knows of his tragedy, but it's being hidden from the public eye. Wow, Kodak, it's sad, man. It's really, truly sad that um, he's experiencing this, but this is part of that prison lifestyle. This is part of going to jail. Understand, everybody in there is on a whole different level. Nobody's on the same page, so... Let me continue this article. Um, the Pompano Beach native added, he was grateful for the platform to shine a light on this cat catastrophe and the injustice that goes on with the land of these walls. He continued, my deepest condolences goes out to Pete's family. I need for y'all to contact me ASAP so I can send my blessings to your direction. Although there is no price to pay for Pete's life, I got some money for you all. I am sure it was hard having a grieve, having to grieve over him during the holidays. I tried to do this sooner, but they are not sending out my mail from the hind, from behind the cement with lots of love, Bill. From behind the cement with lots of love, Bill. Like, hashtag. In another post, Kodak called out Lieutenant F. Arrero and Santiago Torres, suggesting they're abusing their power. Lieutenant F. Arrero has been... Lieutenant F. Arrero has been very vindictive toward me, and I have a strong feeling... It has something to do with me being set up, laced, bruised, and brutally beaten two weeks before my court date. He explained in the caption, There is a big conspiracy going on on this building on me. Santiago Torres is using her poison wrongfully in Miami FDC and is abusing her authority. She's been writing falsified incident reports on me to take phone privileges that I get once a week while in solitary, also doing anything to take my game time so that I come home literally when I'm supposed to. Damn, Kodak. Kodak also complained, Kodak also claimed they're intentionally keeping his mail from him and banning certain visitors for no good reason. One morning, she, Torres, pulled me out of my cell to tell me she is going to take my pretty little girlfriend off my visitation list for no other reason but to add insult to my distress, he continued. Not being able to see my significant other while locked away in this hellhole, 
also, I was denied visit with my mother on December 23rd, two days before Christmas. Not only does my incoming mail take an average of a month to get to me, but they are messing with my outgoing mail as well. So his incoming mail is not coming in and his outgoing mail is not going out. And they're taking his banging girlfriend away from him. My family hasn't received none of my letters for the holidays, which is borderline cruel and unethical. But as of all of this is not enough, on December 31st, New Year's Eve to be exact, I was handed an empty tray for breakfast. I brought it to their attention, but nothing was done for me. Since the camera shows them entering a tray through my flap, but meanwhile, there is nothing on my tray when I opened it. Wow. So now they're just messing with them all the way around. This is like Kodak, man. You going through it because this is prison, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. They don't like you in there. They didn't like you out here. You know, they're crazy, whatever the case may be. But damn. Kodak concluded with another comment about the Miami FDC's alleged intentions to kill him. They are strategically killing me slowly in here. He said, I've been humiliated over and over again. I am highly disappointed in the way they have treated me, not only me, but all the other inmates in this facility. With their self-serving agenda, they will always side with their fellow officers, whether right or wrong. The 22-year-old rapper was arrested on weapons charges last May. He made a similar claim about the Miami FDC last month, claiming he was drugged, then denied medical attention when he attempted to seek help. Wow. So, man, that was the news on Kodak, man. Like, as you hear, there's a lot going on with the man. But, like, let me explain something to you. All right, so he went into jail and... A lot of people didn't like him right before he went in because he made comments of Laura London and other comments that he's made in the past. It's just all building up about Tupac or whatever the case may be. So now he's being hated on. So now he's in jail and or in prison, I should say, and he's doing time that because of a crime that he did, which was crazy to begin with which was like he went and bought a gun and lied on the application that he wasn't a felon, knowing that he's been locked up a lot of times, you know? And uh, I don't know. It's just ridiculous, man. Like, I don't know Kodak. I wish him the best, and I hope he doesn't really feel the way he feels. I hope he's just, like, just going through something, can overcome it. You know, maybe he should reach out to God and pray and, uh, you know, I hope he finds peace, you know, and I hope we don't hear about Kodak dying in jail because like that's not what we expect in 2020. We don't want to come into 2020 with Kodak dying in jail like that's come on. Nobody wants to go out like that. That's the worst way to go out. So that being said, it's just, you know, it's just sad. It's just sad. Um. I wish him the best, man. I know he's in there struggling. I know how it is to be locked down. I've been locked down before. Um, and, you know, whether in good conditions or bad conditions, man, it just sucks to be locked down. And I don't know, man. It's just that's a crazy situation, you know. It's kind of hard to evaluate because all these prisoners are crazy and and kodak's crazy i mean look at him he looks crazy a little bit you know the guy's a little sick in that but you know at the same time it's like what is going on in there like you know and then we also got like yo Gotti and jay-z suing the mississippi jail for prison conditions maybe we should be looking into these prison conditions maybe we should be looking into what we're doing for people but i could tell you this Back in the day, when I was a child, even before I was a child, there used to be like mental hospitals and homes everywhere, all across the United States, and they were everywhere. And then they slowly but surely started getting shut down and put away. And the reason that they were getting shut down and put away was because they were getting abused and not treated right, and the living conditions were horrible. Now, these people, these crazy people, they didn't just go away with the homes. They wound up on the streets, and they wound up 
walking around here and you know you see them begging for money or you see them doing weird shit on the corner now you know what i mean like those are the crazy people that are just loose and that don't have no place to go and then i guess like the government you know would try to like kill off the others and by bringing them to jail i guess i don't know like these these crazy people are ending up in our jails with normal citizens like me or you who are going to jail for white collar crimes and now we're in there with billy who's been sick in the head and killed his first little pet back in 2012 you know what i'm saying and it's like it's crazy the the shit that we have to deal with in there so i feel kodak's plane and i understand especially having to see death like that but you know man you put yourself there at the end of the day and like i said i don't wish bad on nobody but you know i, I don't i hope he understands the level of maturity that he has to be at now in his career and in his life as a man um to step it up and to to do right and to start you know using common sense but i'm not gonna blabber on more about this you already know it's your boy ab watch the channel don't forget to hit that like subscribe and share button and you know i i don't, I don't really say this that often but you know free <laughs>